Hi, I'm Bobby Crispy. As a guitar teacher, I've had a lot of people ask me, like, what kind of albums did you listen to as a guitar influence, uh, like when you're growing up and all that. Okay, so in this video, I'll list off uh, a lot of the uh, albums that I listened to that had a big influence on my guitar playing. So I'll go back all the way back to the beginning, to the very first album I ever owned when I was like seven years old, and that would be Rock and Roll Over by Kiss. Um, I think there's a lot of great guitar playing on it. I guess Kiss isn't really known for their uh, guitar playing, but I love the solos. I think they've got great solos, uh, especially on that album. And still one of my favorite solos is uh, from I Want, I Want You, which is the first song off of Rock and Roll Over. Uh, okay, next is Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. So I used to listen to that over and over again when I was a kid. I used to admire the guitar sounds even before I knew what a guitar solo was, so I admired the sounds even before I understood that it was a guitar solo. Um, so the next one would be uh, Master of Reality by Black Sabbath. That was my very first heavy metal album I ever owned. Uh, that's my favorite Black Sabbath song on there, After Forever. And I always like those little solos like uh, guitar pieces, like Orchard Embryo. So that had a big influence on my guitar playing as well. I guess when you're young, around that uh, age, 14 and 15, you're, like, all of a sudden you're really influenced by music and just you're imprinted by it. And, like It just sticks for you, with you for the rest of your life. Um, which leads me to uh, the US Festival in 1983 when I saw it on TV. Uh, oh, when I saw all those bands play, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to become a guitar player, like a rock star. And uh, which leads me to the next album, Metal Health by Quiet Riot. They played at the S Festival as well. And I uh, went out, got a guitar book of that album, and just learned all those solos and all those guitar pieces, like uh, Battle Axe and Come On Feel the Noise, Metal Health, and so on. And which also leads to my uh, next album, which would be Bark of the Moon by Ozzy. Because he just came out with Bark, Run, Bark of the Moon at that, around that time. Uh, Jakey Lee was the guitarist on that album. And I really loved, really loved his uh, the sound he came up with on that on that album. Thought, like a great job, like Bark of the Moon and Center of Eternity. You're no different, those songs. Okay, the next one is The Doors' first album, The Doors. Okay, when I was in high school, I was like, the biggest Doors fan in all of my high school. I always liked that eerie guitar sound that Robbie Krieger came up with, like on uh, on the end, uh, end of the night, those sounds, as well as like, Light My Fire, that wild guitar solo. So that influenced me as well. Uh, next would be Couldn't Stand the Weather by Steve Ray Vaughan. Okay, when I first got my Stratocaster when I was 17, that was the album I listened to to get try to get my Stratocaster sounds, all those cool sounds that Steve Ray Vaughan was getting. And that's one of the reasons I got my Stratocaster in the first place. <clears throat> okay, next up is the Yes album by Yes. Okay, I have to say uh, Steve Howe is my favorite guitar player of all time. Um, there's a lot of great guitar playing, like classically influenced, a lot of different styles like jazz and blues. Uh, like songs like Yours is No Disgrace, The Clap, Starship Trooper. So there's a lot of great versatile guitar playing on that album. Uh, next would be Fresh Cream by Cream. Cream's first album. I uh, really like Eric Clapton's blues riffs when he was uh, right into the Gibson playing like the Les Paul, the S Tree. Yeah, like, almost sounds like uh, something that could be influenced by Black Sabbath or something like that, you know? That was really heavy guitar sounds. Um, so yeah, I used to lift, try to pick up on those riffs when I was a teenager. Okay, the next one is Metal Fatigue by Alan Holdsworth. It's like a jazz fusion uh, type of music from the 80s. It has a, really, a lot of really interesting guitar sounds, like almost experimental. <clears throat> it had like, um, like 
uh, harmonized sounds, pitch bends, and, but it was really fluid sounding as well. Yeah. So I used to listen to that a lot. Okay, next is Foxtrot by Genesis. Uh, Steve Hackett is also one of my favorite guitar players of all time. And uh, yeah, great guitar playing on that album, like 12 string acoustic. And I think it's the first album I know of anyway. There's fretboard tapping like, way back to 1972. And also it has a piece, of, piece on there called Horizons, which is a guitar solo, acoustic guitar solo, which I play all the time. And last but not least, uh, the song remains the same soundtrack by Led Zeppelin. Like when I first saw that uh, movie when I was like 19, I was wow, never seen it before, and it just, like blew my mind. And I was really, really influenced by that Jimmy Page style. All those songs he played live, I just tried to emulate that sound, uh, especially songs like "Since I've Been Loving You" and "No Quarter," especially those two songs. Okay, so leave it with a question. What's your favorite guitar album or what you're influenced by as a guitar player uh, or guitar albums and why? So leave a comment if you want. Okay, so there it is. Thanks for watching.